Hey, uh, it's been a minute. Feel a little pain because I got a new hair. Anyway, alright. I got a theme. But I think we're gonna eliminate major tangerine together today. That's what that sounds good. I think that sounds good. Okay. So yeah. Today I'm gonna be doing the big boil method. It's gonna be one out of what three, four different methods I will be showing y'all later on. If you keep you know, keep watching <laughs> and subscribe. Yeah. And so let's start. Thank you. I usually like to do, they boil my back. I usually like to do, it's a lot of people that do it different ways. So you got certain people that don't open it and just bang it all the way down and pack it that way. Me personally, I take it all out, I mix whatever I'm gonna mix in there, throw it all back. Well, pack two boxes together in one. It's usually the best way. You wanna pack it as tight as you can and as much as you can. As much as you possibly can. Anyway, so now let's start that. Like I said, I'm gonna open up these two boxes. My bar ready and fully. Don't even got no joints. So we're gonna open these up. It's not packed, but it's, it's a good thing. Usually, some people just like open it, like I said, squeeze it like this, and pack it down a lot more. I mean, if you want to, I feel like it's still kind of the same result. It's like less work on here. But honestly, like I said, this is for beginners. So, do this for beginners. Take this and all out. Somewhere where you can easily clean up because this shit is messy. Okay? It's messy. Alright, so boom. Now we have. Now we put one of our boxes down on the end. So what I like is to try to keep it. What I like that. And then I open up my Kool Aid package because you feel me? I'm trying to get rid of the flavors. Is this 
just make sure the Kool-Aid got all the way around. Like, you want the flavor everywhere, not just parsley somewhere. A little bit of here, a little bit of here. Like, you want it everywhere, okay? Like, seasoning. You just don't want one side of your chicken seasoned. Then you make one We got it all mixed up and all that good stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. So now, we're gonna take the box that wasn't ripped. Because I'm heavy handed, y'all know I'm going to go ahead and uh, see these corners. We're gonna push in these corners as much as you possibly can. And try to make as much room as you can. Push all that on the sides in. All the corners in, all of the corners. As much as you can. This right here, look, I never have luck really been in this shit for real without breaking the box. But if you can without breaking the box, just to make it a little bit more roomy down there so you can put more starch at the bottom. Because you gotta pack it. You gotta pack, 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 baby. Alright, so. I'm gonna start packing. And y'all gonna fill up the whole, the whole two boxes that you threw right here. You're gonna throw it on in this box. Don't forget to pack it in between. So after you put a little bit in, or whatever, you put it in, you got it, do all that good. Two, three scoops, and you want to pack it and squeeze the sides. Don't forget to squeeze the sides. Pack it all the way down and squeeze the sides. You can use other objects to press it on top. Cans, wine glasses, wine bottles, whatever. Just to press it on in there. You want to pack it in as much as you possibly can. Like, I know a lot of people say pack till you don't hear a squeak. Either way, shit sounds squeaky to me. Just pack it to where <laughs> your arms get tired. How about that? Pack till your arms get tired. Mm -hmm. So now, basically, you got everything packed in there as much as you can. Yes, two boxes do fit in here. It does. Look, look at that, look at that. Okay. So, what I like to do, close it up. And on my nice folded light. Take it in. Not beat the hell out of me. <laughs> Fuck it up. It's just, oh, no, I just playing. Play it. You know, it's a good thing when you have a stressful day. See this right here? Gluten free. That's where you want to put it. That's where the water wants to touch. You just want to put it gluten free. Because I don't know what gluten is, so we don't need it. So we're just going to cross that out with the water. Anyway. Yeah. So now that I packed it, we're going to wrap it. We're going to put it in the, um, on the pot for a couple hours. Look, to be honest, I don't know how long it's for. No, I ain't going to uh, <laughs> So we're going to put it in the on the stove for about an hour, two, hour and a half or so, I said an hour, 30 minutes, turning it every 30 minutes or so, so therefore you're not over, over doing one side and not getting enough on another. Then once we're finished with that, I'm going to take it out of the rest, straight out of the rest, I'll throw it in the oven at 400 for about three more hours, take it out of the rest, and I ain't going to lie, I'm not patient. So when it comes to putting it in the freezer, I'll burn the mouth off. But we'll see y'all when we get to that fucking thing. Congratulations, ma'am. It's a brick. Anyway, make sure you cover it. You don't want to see none of that. None, none of it. None, no, you don't want to see nothing. Like you don't even want to know what gender. You don't. You don't even want to know if your baby yours. It could be a white baby. You don't even want to know. Cover it. Cover it up. Cover it up. Push it down a little bit. You know, everybody need a little domestic violence in their life. Just 
push, push it down. Push push, push it down and give it no credit. Push it down and give it no credit. what parenthood feels like. Okay. Don't think it's hard. Do it. Yeah. So now. I don't feel like I'm gonna this shit. Mm. It's still squeaking, but like I said. Yeet corn starch. I ain't supposed to squeak. Okay, whatever. I did what I did. I did as much as I could do. Whatever. Fuck that. We're gonna put it in the damn, on the damn thing. And we're gonna put it on the damn thing because I said we're gonna put it on the damn thing. Put it on the damn thing. <laughs> put it on the stove. Put it on the stove. Okay. Anyway, so now. Okay, I remember what the thing was called. This is the thing. Y'all are gonna have to follow me sometimes. I forget. The thingy on the thing. Put the thingy on the thing. For about this minute. This many minutes. This many minutes. Anyway. Yeah. Now that you don't pack this thing real good, you got it covered. It's nothing to be seen. Like, you don't want to see nothing. Like I said, like, gender reveal. Okay? All right? Gen gender reveal. That's what you want. Get it. gonna throw it in there for a while and just come check on it like I said every hour you're gonna keep it in here for about two hours that's me just being me because I want not be easy drink hard breaking teeth I got good teeth shouldn't be hard to break anyway put it in there about two hours lift it every 30 minutes so you should be able to get uh, uh, 30 minutes till 30 minutes till that's hour 30 minutes till 30 minutes till that's not two hours. That's all you need. That's all you need. Maybe more. I don't know, but that's all I'm doing, okay? That's all I got time for. I don't got time for all that. So I'm gonna put this on here. And we're gonna bowl. We're gonna bowl. I'm gonna put it in here. In the oven. It, like I said, about 400. For about two more, two more hours, three more hours. Really depending on how you feel. Like I said, like. I don't like to let my stuff cool, so I'm about to burn the roof out. My mom, as soon as we finish it, but well, I'll let y'all see the end results. I'll holler at you. I'll holler at you.